Good morning, Mustang family. Welcome back to another beautiful school week here at Herep Christian School. Happy Monday, folks. At this time, please rise and join me in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. I pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. Please be seated. All right, celebrating birthdays today, we have Ariana Monteagudo, one of our seniors, and Julie Rivera in, in our K3 class. So happy birthday to Julie and Ariana. God bless you. Okay, folks. I want to... I want to first off thank uh, the Mustang faithful that were uh, there for the state championship game on Friday. It was amazing to see uh, how many of our fans packed those stands. Um, you guys were so instrumental to the success of these girls uh, throughout the school year. Your support and prayers uh, are much appreciated. Um, it was it was a tough game. Our girls fought valiantly. Uh, we didn't we didn't come out on top this year, but we are state runners up. So we do have some medals, which are pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be state runner up in the whole state of Florida for two A. That is quite an account, uh, quite an accomplishment. So we're very proud of you girls. Uh, great job this year, Mr. Belias, uh, Mr. Sanchez Cohen, Coach Fedo, Coach Rafa. Great, great job, guys. Nothing to be ashamed of. And we will be back. We will be back. We're confident. This is just the beginning of a dynasty for the Lady Mustangs. So congratulations, girls. Hold your head up high. We are so very proud of you. And you competed with class all year. The games that I went to throughout the course of the year, great sportsmanship, really represented us well. And that's what's most important. So great job. All right, middle school spring formal tickets are on sale. Please see Ms. Gloria in the main office. They are $25. Um, remember that this event is taking place March 9th, so it's right around the corner. That's Thursday, March 9th from 7 to 10 p.m. right here in the Mustang Cafe. All right, folks. Chick-fil-A Day is this week. On Wednesday is Chick-fil-A Day. We're going to be placing that order this afternoon with the local Chick-fil-A in the city of Hialeah. Uh, we had a... <laughs> A lot of students take advantage of that order. We might be doing things a little differently uh, for next month, uh, just because it was a lot, a lot of orders. Nevertheless, though, we are going to continue the trend of having Chick-fil-A days. That we promise you. Um, today, we start off Read Across the Red Week. And we have some middle schoolers and high school dressed in attire. Uh, teachers, please excuse them this day. The, the intention of this is really preschool and elementary. However, if students came dressed in their favorite color today in middle school and high school, please excuse them. It's perfectly fine. We are going to ask middle schoolers and high school the remainder of the year. These dress down days are really for preschool and elementary. But today is it is excused. As long as it's proper attire, it's nothing uh, inappropriate. You're more than welcome to stay dressed the rest of the day, but we ask that the remainder of the week, this is really designed for preschool and elementary. Okay. All right, folks. Um, Ms. Darden is, uh, has done a, an amazing job for high school students planning upcoming field trips. We are making the final touches on that. So we do have a trip uh, to Barry University coming in the month of March. We're also planning something with the town of Surfside to visit their police department. And this is really for our forensic science students. And then it's first come first serve after that uh, till we fill the bus. But our, we're gonna make great efforts to do more field trips for a second there. I know Night at the Museum for Middle School is coming up as well. 
So it should be a lot of fun in the remainder of the school year. I know there's another one. It slips my mind. Oh, Escape Room. Escape Room is also coming for, for all of high school, 9 through 12. And Ms. Darden and Mrs. Estopignon are working on that as well. So students, um, actually, it's a perfect segue. Today, we do have our student council meeting, guys, at 3.30 p.m. in Mrs. Ponce's room, as always. So in that student council meeting, we're also going to be discussing uh, field trip ideas, uh, extracurricular ideas. We're also going to vote on the next food on the next food truck <laughs> that will be uh, <laughs> visiting Jerebus. We use that as a quarterly fundraiser. Last time it was Santo Dulce, it was Cone Ice. Before that, the student council will be voting on that. The decision will come from the student council this afternoon. So we'll keep you informed. I will announce that tomorrow what the next uh, food truck will be. Uh, I know that they'll have a, a, a great, great treat for you guys uh, planned later in the month of March. All right, folks, I hope you have an amazing day. God bless you guys. Let's crush this week. Let's have an amazing Monday. Let's go to the Lord of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the way you move in our lives, Lord. We thank you for your support, Father. We thank you for the challenges as they sharpen us, Lord. Lord, I ask that you be with our teachers today. May they, may they be reminded, Lord, their most important function is to inspire students to love to learn. That's what we want to see from our teachers, Father. May our students be diligent, Father. May they be enthusiastic. May they, may they have that love for learning. Be with our support staff, Father, as we plan, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all that you do. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.